que uma que não... Já é bem assim, filho. To the rescue. Here I am. Want you to know now. Where I stand. Na, 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 na. Do, 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 do. So, Dane, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, guys. Welcome to another impromptu taste bud, yard belly, link up, um, and everything. Yeah, today we are making mango hikima salad. Yeah, man. And this is hikima. And if you have never watched us before, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the like and the share button and all of these things yes yes so this video is gonna be like a combination of different cultures um i'm doing a, a mango salad is a mango hikama salad but in trinidad they call it mango chow alma whitaker yellow belly good evening to you mommy yes big up yourself let me just show you what i have here because we're running right into it i have a mango two mango right never heard of this try big up yourself you big up yourself yeah well you want to try in trinidad mainly and this is from one of the recipes i got from my good friends over there at taste of trini big up taste of trini um channel this is mango chow no trinidad do mango chow a little bit different you can just call it a mango salad you know they call it mango chow because of the ingredients that they add now them are mango they have garlic and they have shadow benny and lime a little bit of lime juice and that's basically it and a lot of pepper i can't use a lot of pepper because the wifey you know will put me out i mean i really want to get put out over pepper so that's the basic Trinidad version of mango chow. Garlic, pepper, lime or lemon, and shadow benim, of course, um, which is culantro. This leaf here is called culantro. And they use it a lot, right? So, but I am gonna kick it up a little bit. So I'm adding jicama, which is one of those crazy root vegetables that most Jamaicans, I've not heard most Jamaicans using jicama. I'm using some Vidalia onion and I'm adding parsley as well as, you know, a milk crown. If maybe I want to put some olive oil and some other little stuff to, you know, enhance the flavor of my salad. Yeah. So that's what's going good. All right. So let's start with the hikima and show you guys what it is. All right, now I got this to buy in my local public supermarket, and as you can see, it's a root. All right, and you basically peel it just like a root. All right, yeah, and I know I'm not peeling it how normally you know chefs supposed to peel things and all these things, but yeah, bear with us. All right, so you want to peel off the outer layers are the tough skin yeah and if you want this turn out guys go ahead and give us a, a thumbs up now go ahead and click the thumbs up button and the wifey um come out i'm gonna ask her to do the the thumbs up um tutorial so that you can all see but yeah, you really want to get the skin off the hikama. And guys, if you have never tried hikama before, here we go. Here we go.
yes guys sorry about that getting a whole lot of um troy said let me see what troy said just now troy said mango show sound like some bad boy <laughs> kung fu movie showing at crossroad everybody run come <laughs> mango chow go fight cold food jello winner take a chow try man <laughs> uh, <it's>, uh... <laughs> good Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> look what I have to deal with now. Oh, no, guys, look what I have to deal with. What? This is how I regularly look. Really? <laughs> you look. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so I'm Igo. Awesome. Ah, Say, big boy. I go bad. <laughs> Yellow belly, so I'm happy to deal with down here. <laughs> anyway, good evening, you guys. Good evening, good evening. So, for the thumbs up, let me show you guys. Assuming you're in the chat room like I am, you just hit the X to the right. Close out the chat for a second. Then it takes you to the main page where you will see. I can't even hold on. Right. Where will you will see? It's not showing. Okay, the thumbs up and the thumbs down button. Just hit the thumbs up button over here, sill, and then you hit live chat again, and you're back in business. All right, so let me just um, show you guys where I'm at now, right? All right, so my first thing, let me tell you, I keep my pepper in the refrigerator, guys. Um, who's that? <laughs> who that? Oh. Somebody just said something. Oh, um. Oh, Simone. <laughs> Simone, one of them. Someone said, um, Josh, really? <laughs> yes. I go, I go, I go, I go. So you think I shouldn't use two pieces of garlic, two cloves of garlic or one? You think you should have used one? I'm scared. Mm. It's a savory salad. It's a salad. It's, it's, it's just salad. <laughs> Savory or fresh? I mean, I understand the word because salt savory. Salt or salt. Right. So you mean you don't understand the word? <laughs> Guys, can you please tell her what savory means? I know savory means salty. So I'm asking, is it a savory salad? No, no, it's not savory. As in, I'm not gonna add salt, so to speak. You know, I can add salt, but. It's just, it's just the flavor. This is new to me, you know, so I don't know where, where, where you're going to go with it. So, let me see. I'm going to be surprised. going to be surprised? Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So, you could take this and you could add it to your food processor, for instance, and blend it up. But, you know, the more rustic it is, is the, the really, you know, you want to go for rustic. All right. Um, I'm gonna cut up the peppers and this is this is a pepper that is is not it's not super hot It's more of a flavor It's a flavoring pepper, you know, so I'm gonna cut all of this pepper Now if it hot guys somebody have to put me up It's gonna be hot who use that entire scotch bonnet and it's not it scotch hot. bonnet. Oh, it's what? It's a sweet flavoring pepper. I just said that it looks like a scotch bonnet, but it does not have the heat. Mm. And guys, as I said, a good tip is to put your peppers in the refrigerator. 
And guys, let me tell you, the meatless November, it's going good. Just an update on the no meat November challenge that we have been going, um, that I've been forced to, to, to participate in. Who forced you? You. Force? Force. Define force. Meaning, withhold favors unless I comply. <laughs> No, <laughs> that never was a part of the agreement. Okay, it was a the, suggestion, guys. The challenge was. It was a suggestion. The challenge was either you do it, invitation, and or with no reluctance, he gladly. Good evening, Kim over. Kim. Oh, you do Kim Kim. Kim Kim did dead when me, when you did challenge me. Right, Kim, you were there when she said, don't eat the meat or else. Okay, that's that's the major <laughs> word. That's the, 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 the operative word is challenge, not force. <laughs> when I challenged you. Today is what, the 18th? Or 17th. Today are the 18th, or the, or the 19th. The 19th. Today is the 19th? Yeah, I think so. Oh, Monday was the 18th. Oh. Monday was the 18th. So today is the 19th? Yeah. Okay, tomorrow the 20th. So we went 19 days without any type of meat, like guys. 19 days without no kind of meat. <laughs> <laughs> I may tell you, the 19th roughest days of my life. A joke. <laughs> the only thing that I've been feeling like I want to have is eggs, but I, 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 didn't, I haven't had any. I'm pushing through. We are, we are both pushing through. We are pushing And through. I applaud your, your pushing-ish. You're pushing nasty. <laughs> You're pushing nasty. Happy coming in like a rapture. Hey. Hey. And everybody get captured. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Alright, so here's my garlic and my pepper. Just adding that to the to the um to the bowl. <laughs> Kim Kim said so I can't do that, sir. <laughs> Kim Kim, you can do it. Kim, don't make them force you. You can do it. Alright, now I washed my, my shadow Benny. All right, let me wash it again. May I wash it again? And some at some time during this cooking process, I'm gonna have to put some hot pepper in this chow. Okay, just telling the wifey that from now, guys. So after my extract, man. Simone, Kino, you know, if on the year and a knock on the door later on, please have the coach ready. All right, just as I say. All right, and shadow Benny is, is a lot like um, cilantro. It's very very nice when you put it in curry. Trust me, guys, and it and you can get it in South Florida at like a Presidente store or a Bravo store or any other Latino Latin store, you know, or Eastern Caribbean store. <laughs> exactly, peanut brittle. You know, but I'm telling you guys, I'm at the Shadow Benny. Mm -hmm. So, did you tell them where they can find Hikama? Hikama, I got my Hikama in Publix. All right, okay. let me just tell you all from now. I got my Hikama in Publix supermarket. And is mango readily available now? And mango supposed to be in season. All right, let me just rinse off my parsley. And parsley is not original to the dish. I am adding parsley because you know, you have the belly of take it up a notch, right? The can you, not can you, so we move. wow. Can you fix the camera so that they see what's going on in the bowl, please? Thank you so much. Wow, Simone. I'm hurt. Simon, you have one more um, rundown. Hurted. Yes, I feel it. You have one more of the, the veggie chunks rundown. I you know me they plan to make some for you. But I think so. I think the stove burn up. So, Kim, Kim, let me give you a rundown of the different dishes that we've been having so far. That you can partake in if you decide to one day join the journey. <laughs> we had so, um, veggie chunks rundown. We had cauliflower, curried cauliflower. We had. Mm -hmm. Tell her we had no. We had teriyaki, miniature potatoes. Just a baby potato, no? Jeez. 
Same thing. No, that miniature sounds very technical. Really? Like our science experiments. Miniature <laughs> potato. What else? Um, we have black beans and rice mm -hmm. with no meat. We had kalalu and Kalalu. I don't remember what we have kalalu with. And we bought this meatless um sausage mm -hmm. that we've been using. So. And we don't use it a lot. It's done. Because most of them are, 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 are side. Really? We don't move. <laughs> <laughs> See what? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're the easy. Kino, I rub off for that, man. All of a sudden, they don't move because they run down. <laughs> yeah, Kim, Kim, so she saw the dishes on Instagram and them look good. And you know what? A couple of people have been trying the dishes, you know? Yep, that's and, another thing. And reposting. The dishes that you know, in he was they were inspired by, so yeah. And this onion, guys, is super sweet, it's really a nice onion, and that's why I'm adding it. So, onion is not original to the to the to the chow, but again, one of the things with the other belly thing is turn your hand with fashion. Eat one, let this sweet. No. <laughs> so. Let me do this now. You, guys, don't come for me, please. Don't tell me say the knife I go cut me. Just, just allow me to work. All right. You could, you could um, you could hold up the camera, you know, so that it, you know, but don't block the light. You understand? You get it. You dig? Are you digging? And guys, this is the ekama. Let me let me turn my camera up. Right, this is the, the hickama. Alright. And it sort of look like a piece of yam when you when you're just looking at it. But it is not. It's a cross between a, a very, very fresh apple and chocho. To remind you of chocho. And you just want to slice it into manageable pieces. Add your hickama. Are, are you seeing? Mm -hmm. See your knife skills. I'm not very overly skilled, you know, but I'm just doing my best, you know. So this this salad is for what? What mean for what? What kind of meal? How can you eat it? Or for what can you eat it? May I, may I eat it for dinner? Okay. You know, it's just, guys, sometimes you, you, you know, want the whole heap heaviness, you know. Sometimes you just want some comfortable, you know, you know what I mean? You just want a comfortable eating experience, you know. You want to try a piece of the hickama? Maybe. Hmm? Hmm? Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? Maybe. Hold on there. Let me give a piece here. Try it on camera and see and tell me what you think. The, the people, them know how it tastes. And that, as you just guys, you have to check for flaws. In, in your hickama check if you see any flaws you have to cut out those those little flower flowers that's the thing with fresh fruits you know sometimes you have to lightly sweet it's very very faint sweetness um it has but it's giving me a burst of like a starchiness yep right yep very chewy like um like watercress chow. it's giving me watercress texture and um go on food critique yeah and it's very delicious and magnificent it's very it's very hmm <laughs> yeah it, it has a little starchy taste to me i can't put my hand out yeah maybe the maybe a cross between the the chocho and something else Here on Francis. Good evening. Good evening. Mm -hmm. All right. Add your your description now. Everything we are just saying. Um. I I concur. Has anybody had a hickama before? And if so, what is your opinion of it, please? Mm. 
<coughs> all right now we're going to the mango and the mango guys i made sure to get one that is not ripe because you don't want a ripe, a super ripe mango well you can as a matter of fact uh, i have another one that is super ripe that i might just um add to it so you have a variety so that you get the mixture of flavors right textures. all right and it's, it's since me come a foreign, me really see say people love green mango like that, you know, because in Jamaica we used to think that Lego Beast picnic climb tree and uh, eat green mango. And say it will buy, buy in the open. Mm -hmm. We used to tell the picnic them all sort of something. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, <laughs> green mango used to burn off your lip in Jamaica. You know, but you come to America and you go to fine restaurants and you'll be surprised to know that they are giving you green mango and they're expecting that you like it. Kieran says cucumber chow is also nice, but didn't you say you were gonna put cucumber? I was gonna put cucumber, but I didn't. I didn't. I no longer um, feel the cucumber vibes. But guys, if you think I should put cucumber, let me know. <laughs> because I'm working with you, you know. Mango smells good. And uh, originally, most people from Trinidad like to use Julie mango to make chow. And I guess because it's super sweet, that's why most people from Trinidad like to make um chow with julie mango all right but when you're in foreign julie is my favorite mango i not eat julie <laughs> wow <laughs> not eat no julie wow <laughs> tanya johnson say you are the belly and wifey good evening good evening tanya good evening tanya we are making mango hickama chow chow yeah, like what the French people them said, ciao. As in bye bye. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, you talk French a while ago. It's, it sounds so very delicious and sexy. Say it again. Ciao. Woo. <laughs> 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 Simone, no way to what? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Simone, aren't you on the way to music? I hope you're not driving. <laughs> All right, you want to put the put seed in there? Cause no. no. Them always like when you put the seed in the chow. Really? Yes, then put the seed in the chow. Anthony Bolton, good evening to you. Good evening, Anthony, sir. Sir Bolton, good evening. Uh, not seed, I mean pit. Yes, sorry about that. You're, all of the man them, no seed thing, pit. Yeah, I'm just getting that trouble out. All right, so I have a ripe mango here, guys. Do you think I should put this ripe mango in there? In babes? Yeah. Yeah, she said yes, so you know that me. In the meantime, we like to share fines. So while he peels the mango, <laughs> I know we don't want to bore you with the mango peeling. <laughs> Let me share with you. Anybody have an Aldi in their area? Aldi, anyone? Anyone with an Aldi? If you don't know what Aldi is, it's a supermarket that sells not only groceries but they do have other odds and ends you know mm -hmm. a little bit of bedding shelving yeah little, candles, little stuff potting potting pots pottery pottery you name it they have it so today we found this and i think it, it is very holiday-esque <laughs> winter balsam and it smells so good and guys i'm not knocking on B and B W, cause they my friend. B and B W, my friend. I buy from them all the time, and I like their stuff. But this guy's, oh my god! And this was three dollars and fifty cents, and it smells very intense. Mm -hmm. I can smell the different flavor notes. The pine flavor note is very wow. you know forward. Yeah, like notes. Mm, it's like music. <laughs> The music lesson. Yeah. The flavor note. Jeez, and people. So, and it's a look at this. Remember, me tell you, it's a soy blend. So it's not, you know, those candles that have, you know, a lot of the toxic stuff and the chemicals. I, I believe soy candles are healthier for the inhalation. Go on, my girl. <laughs> Go on. You hear them big argument there in the place. It's a soy well, blend for the inhalation. Smell it. it smells so good. I hope it burns nice and it, you know, it gives the house a nice aroma. Yeah. It's very inhalacious. Okay, 
Aye, uh, sir. All right, so this is the ripe one now. And we just have to drop it in. Yeah, while he's dropping it in, guys, don't sleep on Aldi. <laughs> $3.50 compared to $24.50. Just saying, do the mats. Do the mats. And you shall inhale in the good thing. Also, yeah, because Yard the Belly is all about not only cooking and sharing inspiration by way of cooking food, but also sourcing food. So if you are close to an Aldi and you eat Granny Smith apples, yeah, those green apples that it is that arguably... Your granny, your granny. <laughs> <laughs> it's arguably one of the best in terms of digestion and stuff. And yeah. for juicing. And for juicing, those apples are none other than one dollar and seventy something cents per three pound bag now you tell me they're usually like 4.99 or three something 3.99 it's always up there but they're on special now for a dollar seventy so go grab yourself a couple bags and get juicing get juicing all right mm. all right simone little more <coughs> we shall speak. Alright, so he's done with the cutting up now. I don't have no, to. I'm not quite done yet. May I cut up one, one of some pepper? Okay, I don't know what else to share though. Okay, one more thing that happening all day today. This is a real hot pepper now, guys. Okay, I'm begging you. And I'm just cutting up a little bit. Alright. Way to stop make trouble with me. Alright guys, so this is another thing that we found in Aldi today and it's usually two dollars and something cents, but it was on special for 89 cents. How don't take it for granted that when you see um the pricing or the labels on an item for a certain amount that it's gonna ring up for that amount. So you know, be mindful. Pay attention to your bill when you get your bill or when the person is ringing up the items just to ensure that they do not ring up the wrong price. The original price. Because they were trying to ring these up for the 280 something and I'm, I had to be like, hey, honey, back up. <laughs> ba ba back up. Uh, yeah, so these were 89 And, and guys, if you are, this is for the fellas. If you go to the supermarket with your significant other and them are the cashier, just step away. Like you don't know them. Come in a, in a Polish name. Let's see. All right. <laughs> you guys are ready. I have no more tips. I'm ready. Okay. I am ready. And guys, the, the next thing, the last thing I'm going to add now mm -hmm. is my black pepper. Good evening, Vanessa Williamson. Good evening to you. Good evening, Vanessa Williamson. <laughs> Good evening. This is a hickama mango salad or a chow. Hickama mango chow. And I'm adding a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. This is about a little bit. Mm -hmm. Do you know what you should have put inside of the pepper? What? Maybe cayenne pepper you should have put instead of it. If you want cayenne pepper, no, you, know, no, you no, were no. saying about I mean, hats. instead. Instead. Try a kid. Evening, sir. Um, I'm going to put my, my lemon juice now. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yes, sir, Bob. Mm hmm. I feel like I need to put some olive oil. What do you think, babes? Why? Because olive oil is, is like a nice emulsifier, blends everything together. Who said put olive oil? Anybody <laughs> said put olive oil, let me know. Prayer kids are on the lava feed, so like they're not full. <laughs> may I tell you, may I tell you, prayer kid, the, the life just like give me peer trouble tonight. Trust me. Look at this, guys. That look good. That look delicious. 
I'm gonna try a piece. <laughs> want more, more life. You <laughs> want to be more. Tanya, her. No sugar, no go on here. Mm mm. And. Want more salt. And I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil, just a little bit of olive oil. Somebody say, Kim Kim say yes, tip a little olive oil. See there, olive oil, a little bit of olive oil. I'm a like olive, Need she's a good person. Some plum with that. Mommy, tell you. That would be good for real. <laughs> that would be awesome. Look at this, guys. I promise you. And the longer this stays, is the more the flavor is gonna marry and the more it has gonna turn out sweet. Mm -hmm. me still, me still not taste the pepper. More I'm looking pepper in it. I'm gonna put a little bit of my house Can pepper. I take that, no, just cool the man. Uh, allow me to, to be shine. Stop, stop fretting me down with the pepper now. She's always fretting me down, guys. Oh my god, it's so hot. I can't deal. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know, people. Trust me, when you have to cook for somebody who doesn't have the, the right pepper vibes and pepper notes, I need a peppery person in my life. You have to be pepper. You understand? You understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? You understand? You have to have a certain level of pepperiness to you. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're not peppery, then I mean, we need pepper. Take a piece and taste it. Looks so refreshing. I would pair that with some grilled salmon. Come on, you know you always have no no meat. <laughs> Both things came up. <laughs> Tell me what it needs. Hmm? Tell me what it needs. Wow. Mm -mm. Cilantro nice on it, eh? We don't need anything. Sugar? Honey? You su sugar. Honey? No, I use a coconut sugar. Mm -mm, this is good, then. Guys, come taste this. Oh. Mm -mm. I'm adding a little tagine. Mm. Tagine, guys. This is um fruit, fruit, um, fruit seasoning. So I'm adding a little tagine. It is really good, you guys. I was kind of skeptical. skeptical. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's usually our response, you know. I was a little skeptical, but it's nice. And I'm adding just a little bit of sugar. You just add enough sugar to your taste. Show them the sugar that you're using. I'm using coconut sugar from Aldi. Mm -hmm. You can check it out. Coconut sugar, low glycemic, very good for you, and organic. And guys, this video is not sponsored by Aldi. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, and the last thing I add is some sesame, sesame seed. seed. Vanessa says yes, that tangerine is the truth. For real. And it's there the you go. There you go. Oh, sorry. There you go again. And there you go. suspect. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Okay, what's your man? No, man. <laughs> They're like, you know, oh, yeah, can't, yeah, can't look so much judgment, but make look a salad we ain't never like. Kim, Kim, can this be eaten with rice and peas? <laughs> Like this can be the meat. <coughs> May I leave the two the two mango pit them fair cause we now really say mango seed. No seed, me now you know seed. You understand? I'm leaving the two pits for you. Mm -hmm. Can I get it now? 
Sure. Thanks. <laughs> Sharon. Sharon, guys. You no, see her? <laughs> This is Sharon. She grabbed the, ma the mango pit and she is boogieing out of here. But guys, I promise you, this is a great addition. You can, this, if you eat rice and peas, for instance, and your regular food, you can put this on the side of the plate. For a burst of flavor, you know, and a little vibes. Yeah. Hey, next week for Thanksgiving, if I put that on the table, let me tell you. By the way, who inviting us over for Thanksgiving dinner? I nah cook Thanksgiving. I nah cook. You understand? We need somewhere for go. Thanksgiving. 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 What a wonderful thing. Here you go, sweet pie. As usual, another one of my great um, creation. Let me just turn this camera around so that you guys can get a full view of this awesome mango hikama chow ae salad and guys mm, no sir this one is another one vegan and great tasting yeah <laughs> Studying, say no cooking. My mom tried to make me cook. <laughs> no, my you have to cook. You have to cook. I'm um, studying. Trust me. You can't make your mommy cook. Studying. You have to do little cooking, man. Jeez, um, peace. Guys, if you have not yet tried this brand, and I really want you guys to try it, Blender Bella. It's um, mushrooms, and I promise you, so good. So good. Right now, I'm going to warm up some with some rice. So good. It, it, it goes over everything mm -hmm. and one of the good thing about this whole vegan journey that i've been on is just the fact that we have been we are being exposed to so many new things you know so many things so many doors and so many ideas are popping in our heads you know it's so it's just crazy it's just awesome <laughs> my God. so this one is one for the books guys my arrangement is still going strong oh lord help them jesus <laughs> Every video, come on, our arrangement. Every video, my arrangement is coming on. My arrangement. Mm -mm. All right. So I'm going to put one, one mm -mm. tomato up on the top. No. Use the baby one. Then that's going to be a big boy. Toddler. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's see. Let's Thank you so much for joining us tonight, guys. It's been, what, 40 minutes? Just about 40 minutes that we've been doing our video. And I promise you, this one is, is a good one to try. It's way delayed. Eh? It's way delayed. May I hear you? It's a bit delayed. Yeah, that's what's going on. So, remember, live and laugh and cook and eat. Yeah, man. If you have mango at the yard, you don't have to put ikama, you can put mango alone, put a little onion, put a little garlic, set up a thing. You understand? You can add um, cucumber to it. The next time I'm going to make some cucumber chow, but my cucumber chow is going to be awesome. Well, true study, you need a break. Make somebody else cook this here. And that me I said to you, I need a break in a life. What me feel? Study. Look, look what I go on with the mango seed, guys. Watch it. I, I lack a crave, no, solid crave. Is that thing? Look over there. So, watch it. Look how the mango seed white. Mm, look there. Why are you in my ears? No, look what's going on. The people need to see. People need to know what's going on around here in the other belly kitchen. Mm? No, sir. Kim Kim, you see what she go on with? Mm? She rip it down, you know. Jeez, I'm on next mango, my next mango seed right now. So, we're going <laughs> That's what I'm good. <laughs> no, brother. Mm -mm. I was just being such a decent person, and she does a whole her do it a guan. Mm -mm. No, brother. My oh, God. 
look here. Guys, look for a walk one. Look here. You know, she say we need to call animal control or something. Wow. Look here. Eh? Look for the mango seed. You call me animal. Look for the mango seed. You that think say she half starving around here. Like we're not taking care of her. Look at No, brother. Mm -mm. No, sir. You can imagine if me cook. I want you to start by round two. Stop. <laughs> she gone by round two. And you know the problem, let me tell you, oh, you know, craving people. When she buys it, she lock her eye. <laughs> <laughs> Who for tell him stop trouble? You? <laughs> Your family. No, no sir. Mm -mm. She are going bad in here. You know never add some wine in the teeth, some apple cider vinegar. No, yeah, get out the hand now. May I go to the hand now? Mm hmm Okay, if may I leave it. It's not broken, then. why fix it? I'm gonna leave it then. I shall not fix it if it is our broken so guys remember to join us at around 10 o'clock between 9 and 10 on thursday morning for thir um, breakfast live when we do this again as i said we sometimes go impromptu in the week but we're not going to be doing much more impromptu videos we're going to be scheduling and letting you guys know beforehand so Follow us on all social media platforms, Yada Belly TV. We're going to let you know when we're on and the scheduling and everything. For now, we are solid on Thursday nights, th Thursday mornings at between 9 and 10. We're going to be also um, tightening up that time. So it's going to be closer to 10 o'clock on Thursday mornings. Until then, live and laugh, guys, and cook and eat. Eat your heart out, yeah? Mm -hmm. And make sure so you try this one in your neck of the woods. Peace, love, and everything. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Blessings.